Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman. This is the uh, 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And we're looking at the Dow was up sharply earlier on. It actually went to 33,272. Now it's at 32,815. Uh, so that's quite a tumble there. Huh? It's almost 500 points. Well, um, it had a beautiful session on Friday. One I didn't quite understand. Not that I'm complaining because subscribers have been long. The Dow, but most importantly, it just I, that was what 500 points that was crazy. So, we've had two days of consolidation. There might be a little bit more going into Thursday, but I suspect that uh, we will start uh, a push into the uh, 32,300s very soon, and that the uh, 32,000, I'd probably say 32,700. 600 areas, really good support. We're looking at the S&P, also had a very, very nice early morning up, up move, and now it's down 23 at 4108. The 4102 area to 40, to 4102, yeah, to 40,092. It should be good support to 494092. Uh, we're looking at the QQQ, um, helped earlier on by Salesforce.com. Now it's down 28 cents at 308. It did have a nice move up. It hit resistance at the 312 level. It needs to get to 314 by about Monday, this coming Monday. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, pulling back $1.66 at 183. Not acting all that well. Now gold is going to be very interesting because gold is holding a lower under the 14 period moving average and nine period moving average in an arch formation but the, it depends. The further away it goes from the 200 period moving average of 1869, the greater the chances are that it's going to have that's going to be your big, big resistance to overcome. And if you're looking at the dollar, dollar had a nice move up. Um, it's now up 71 ticks at 102.48. It held for four days, three days, sorry, three days. It held the 200 period, the 50 period exponential moving average. Now it's gone back into the rectangle formation, and that's going to be very important because it helps the weekly chart. Looking at the TLT, that's bonds, oh, down 30, 35 cents again, 116.21. Yields are going higher. This is tough. You know, yields going higher. That's, 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 well, the market is doing it, the Fed's work for it. And you're looking at crude oil. Is crude oil still up? Yes, it's up $1.51, holding quite nicely at 116 At any point, if it starts, today's high was 117.87. If it can close above 118.50, that 120 level looks like it's going to be gay. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. The Larry Pizzavento coming up. Great program. Don't forget, we start off at 9 in the morning with Tommy Jr. with Market Kickoff. Have a great day. Tommy, Tommy Sr. ends the day. He's doing a webinar Friday a week. The